Previously on Arrow. People, they're volunteers. True believers. Thank you for your service, your mind, and your belief in me. What happened? Prisoners writers down. Lance, I want you to give your father a message. Oh, A life that hasn't had a chance to fully grow and live out its purpose in this world is a life that has been taken from this earth too soon. Oliver Queen, whom I'm told is practically family, will be delivering the eulogy. Mr. Queen? Mr. Queen, are you ready? Uh, I could probably say a few more. Tommy Merlin was was one of the greatest people that I've ever known. He was he was so much more than just a, a billionaire playboy. I loved him. I loved him in, in every way you could possibly love someone. And so did Oliver. And I'm sure if Oliver could be here today, he would say so. But clearly it's too painful. Excuse me, are you a Father. It's her father. I'm um, terribly sorry for your loss. Um, these are her belongings. Uh, I can take care of See you standing there. Where else would I go? How's Lila? She and baby Sarah at a park at safe house. They're an army buddy looking after Carly and Andy Jr. You worried about your brother? I don't think he would do anything to hurt my family, but I don't know. Clearly, I never knew him. All right, John, as the world's leading expert in blaming yourself, please don't do it. You warned me, Oliver. Straight up, you warned me. If I listen to you instead of trusting my brother, Laura will be alive right now. You can't know that. On behalf of Mayor Adams and everyone in City Hall, I'm very sorry to announce the death of Assistant District Attorney Laura Lance. Miss Lance was conducting a deposition of Damian Dart prior to tonight's incident at Iron Heights Correctional Facility. I'm informed by the Department of Corrections Mr. Dart remains at large and is the leading suspect in Miss Lance's death. I guess I'm John. Smith & Wesson, 460 XBR revolvers. 50 Cal Desert Eagles. Boberg 9mm semi-autos. 15 large, and they're all yours. How about it? out there and he has his magic back as much as I'm sure all of us want to climb up inside of our own grief. We have to get that son of a bitch. Definitely, but 
We haven't even put her on the ground yet. Captain, this was, this was last night. After I, I, this article says that she used her side but I guess I do. And why? Guys, CCTV footage from last night's attack. So Sarah came back. All the crazy things that we've seen. Maybe my baby, my baby girl, maybe she's not gone. I mean, we, we saw her. Yeah, but, you know, I mean, everyone thought Oliver was dead when the gambit went down. Everybody thought Ray Palmer was dead, your brother. Uh, Captain, I know, I know, but this is different. John's right. This bag from the hospital was supposed to contain all of Laurel's belongings. Post it. The sonic device is missing. Yeah, that explains it. There are people in and out of Laurel's room. Doctors, nurses, orderlies. Wait, you think someone took it? Yeah. Laurel. Let's not go there just yet. Now, you don't think that with everything that we have seen, that we have all seen, that there is a chance that Laurel is back? Cisco keyed the sonic device to Laurel's vocal cords. No one else is supposed to be able to use that. Right, right. What do you think? operated on Laurel Lance, who I believe was injured during an Iron Heights prison riot. There was a Black Canary sighting last night. This person was wearing a sonic device, the same sonic device that was taken from Laurel's belongings in her room. Are you saying? I have reason to believe that someone walked into her room and took it. Now, can you put me on a path? It's a frequent flyer. Comply, what does that mean? A patient who pays repeated visits to the ER. Now, I've treated her a few times. And there's something... There's something off about her? Mm-hmm. Would you give me her name? Doctor patient privilege applies to all my patients, Mr. Queen. Yeah. You want to come inside? I don't think that is the best idea. I'm sorry they didn't let your mom attend the funeral. It was a nice service. Tell me what it would like to. You would have liked it more if you would have said a few words. I stayed up all night. I was working on a eulogy. I just filled page after page with stories of us. But then I realized that I just didn't have the right to say any of those things. What are you talking about? Oliver, Tommy loved you. For all I failed him. I came back from that island with another chance. It was a chance to help people. It was, it was a chance to make this city better. And I couldn't. And now Tommy's dead. Oliver. <clears throat> you can't blame yourself. You blame me too if you know the truth. What truth? That was Oliver. Where else? Still, you know, there. But he thinks he has a lead on some woman who recently visits the emergency room a lot. I'm going to try and cross-reference facial recog from last night's attack with the hospital security footage. Hey. At the hospital, you said that you'd never forgive yourself for what happened? Andy's working the dark. has been the entire time. He helped him find the idol. Helped him out of jail. 
father ever warned me, but I pretty much told him to go to hell. Laurel's dead because of me. I don't know what happened. I wasn't there. I don't know what to say. There's nothing to say. Thank you for everything that's possible. I don't think any of us are ready to talk to the media. One of the few advantages of dating a political operative, I guess. Sorry, I didn't mean to joke. Please, I could, I could use some jokes. Anything to keep my mind off of. Everything. Speaking of, actually, you never told me why you became a political operative anyway. Alex Davis. Sure, like seeing a ghost. And hearing one. That sonic device has been modified. My ear plugs did not do a thing. The sonic device is what shouldn't have done the damn thing. But you said Cisco keyed it specifically to Laurel? It should have only worked with Laurel. The crazy part is that this girl is using it at much higher decibels than Laurel ever did. Okay, so who is this girl? Well, when she attacked Alex, she accused him of working for someone. Move a dark? Hive. She said the Green Arrow left them at Reddington to die. Oh, what's Reddington? Reddington Industrial is where Dark held you all hostage over the holidays. You think this girl is one of Hive's prisoners? They weren't prisoners, remember? They were volunteers. Right, but still, let's check missing persons for a family with at least one teenage daughter who went missing over Christmas. The Sharp family. Mom and Dad's bodies were found two days after Christmas, cause of death hypoxia. Could be Hive's gas chamber. What about the daughter? Class president, academic decathlete, gymnast. Basically, a 16 year old badass in the making. She never even missed a day of school. Until her parents met Damien Dark, I'm guessing. She said we left them there to die. And we did. What do you mean? All those people at Reddington. Were there their own choosing, all of them? And we know that Hyde drugs people to make them susceptible to suggestion. She told me that we failed this city. She's not wrong. Thanks for coming. I fear I lack the words to convey the true depth of my sympathy. To lose a child once is unimaginable. But for it to be both children. Listen, I know you and I haven't always been on the same side of things, but, uh, Laurel, you know, just thought of you as a friend. Just as I thought of her. She brought me comfort during a difficult time period. The world will be a darker place without her. Yeah, well, not for long. Okay, I got all the things. What else do I need? I'm afraid I don't understand. What else do I have to bring for it when she comes out of this, you know, Lazarus pit thing? I would do anything for your daughter. But I destroyed the pit months ago. Um, okay, well, there's got to be uh, something else. I am so very sorry. So you don't want to help me? Fine. I'll find some other way to bring it back. Scouring traffic cameras for Evelyn, but I keep striking out. What are you doing here? I'm thinking. Which is Oliver speak for beating yourself up. Thought you were reformed from that. Feels like as good a time as any to bring it back. Because of Laurel or because of what that girl said? Bit of both. 
I tried to do the right thing and I came up short. I came up short for that girl. And for Laura. Maybe I shouldn't feel responsible, but I do. Yeah, it's going around. You mean John? Yeah, I mean me. And John was looking for someone to absolve him. To reassure him that what happened wasn't his fault and I couldn't do it. I think for a second I let him blame himself because for a minute it saved me from blaming me. I should have been there. I wasn't there with the team in the bunker. I know I would have just been behind a keyboard. I know it seems like hubris, but I've made a difference before, and I can't help but think that if I was there, you know, maybe she'd still be here. Do you know why I always blame myself in situations like this? Because at least it's an answer. Sometimes we just need a reason when a situation is completely unreasonable. Lila called asking for John, except he's supposed to be checking in on her. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. I have trackers on all of you. I'll check and I'll get back to you. Well, tell those curious that the city has undertaken to do a massive upgrade of the sewage system. I mean, what happens below ground is simply not their concern. Why are we stopping? Get down! Get out! What do you think you're doing? I am the mayor of this city. I don't care who you are. You're going to be a lot less if you don't get out of that limo right now. Move. Can I help you with something? I mean, I always enjoy spending time with my constituents. Shut up! You know who I am. You know exactly who I am. And you know who my brother is. I don't know what you're talking about. Stop lying! Fine. We do this your way. Maybe you can give your husband a message for me. No, no, I'm not playing games with him anymore. Get away from her, John. Ah, stay out of my way. What the hell are you think you're doing? Trying to find Andy. By attacking the mayor of the city? By going after Damien Dark's wife. It doesn't matter if she's Dark's wife. She is the mayor. She has the media. She has the police. I don't give a shit. Get away from her. 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 Get away it's another minute he can hurt someone I love. John, I know. But this isn't who you are. Oh, I don't know who I am anymore. Oh, all I know is all I can hold on to is that. I have to find my brother. And, and, and do what? Laurel's gone. And finding Andy and whatever you're going to do to him is not going to bring her back. If she were here, she'd tell you the same thing that I'm going to tell you. You cannot forget who you are. And we, we can never become that. Ben. Doesn't matter. Have we had any luck tracking down Evelyn Sharp? No, I keep hitting dead ends. It's not the best choice of words. News alert. Tonight, my security detail and I were attacked by one of these lawless vigilantes who claim to protect the city. This attack came less than 24 hours after another vigilante named the Black Canary assaulted my chief of staff, Alex Davis. Now, these same masked criminals were confirmed to be at Iron Heights when one of this city's beloved civil servants, Laurel Lance, was fatally injured. Well, tonight I say no more. Tonight I asked District Attorney Wallace to issue arrest warrants for these so-called vigilantes, beginning with Mr. Davis' attacker, the Black Canary. dedicate the arrest and prosecution of this so-called Black Canary to ABA Laurel Lance, one of this city's brightest lights. Turn it off. Thank you. 
She knows Laurel was a black canary. And now she has the whole police force cutting for a scared, frightened teenage girl. I'll call her. Okay. We need to find Evelyn before the SCPD does. Yes. Yeah. But it's pain is sharpened by denial. I feel that that refusal to accept reality will lead Mr. Lamb to take us protection. Thank you for letting me know. I will keep an eye on him. All of us. Are you all right? Our friend was killed at the hands of a man that I'm currently powerless to stop. And his wife is dragging her legacy through the mud. And after everything she's done, everything she's stood for, it just doesn't survive. It's encouraging people to vote for me. That was Toby's idea. <laughs> no, but seriously, it's easy to buy people off with money that you didn't even earn. You did all the hard work. We always did make a great day. You know, I was thinking about what you said in the hallway after Tommy's funeral and wanting to help. Make the city better, please. They still can. The moral lamps. Always trying to save the world. Yeah, but it doesn't have to be just me. You can too. We can do it together. Where the leak of a shaft and sign the black coats. No, that's right, but there is no Lazarus pit and no leak in there. No, but it might be shoved at just some clue right next step on a trail. There's no trail, Quinton. Laurel is gone, and there is no bringing her back. No, 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 to hell with that. And if you don't want to help me, to hell with you two. I am helping you. No, you're not, because you know why? Because you do not know what it is like to lose a child. No idea. But I have lost a father, I have lost a mother, and I have lost Laurel. We have lost her. We have. If there was a way, if there was any way to bring her back, I would find it and I would do it. But there isn't for either of us. You don't understand. Right when we lost Sarah, when, when I became a drunk, when no one else believed in me, she did. She's always been there. She's my rock. Right. She was my rock. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, God. John. You got something? Yeah, an apology. I never shall let you think that you could have prevented what happened to Not even for a second. I was just dealing with my own guilt for not being there. You have nothing to be sorry about, Felicity. I listen to Oliver and I trust my brother. Laura will be alive. No, you don't know that. But Oliver keeps saying the same thing, except I keep going through this over and over again in my head. And it's true. The only thing I don't quite get is how I could have been so blind. Oh, and he's your brother, you know? We make exceptions for family. Yeah. And I'm the one constantly telling Oliver not to have a blind spot for family. And here you are, taking the blame for something that's not your fault. You're just one illegitimate child away from a really awesome Oliver Queen impersonation. But just like we tell Oliver, what happened was not your fault. And Laura would have wanted you to know that. What's that? Evelyn Sharp, facial recognition picture after outside of Star City Plaza Hotel. What's she doing there? That's where Ruve Dark is. She's getting revenge for her family. If she's gonna kill Ruve Dark, my vote is yes. She's not just killing Ruve Dark. In that mask, in that costume, she'd be killing Laura's legacy. Excuse me. 
tilt right now. Keep your eyes peeled. She's out there somewhere. I'm on site. So is he at that vigilante task force? And they've come ready to play. We need to find that girl before they do. Hey! Oh. Hey, you. Ma'am, should be in here. Funny. I was going to tell you the same thing. <gasps> in the building. I need to get you to a secure location. Oh, you will do no such thing. Let her come. Let her try. Counter. Second floor, 200 people in the Liberty Ballroom. Ruby Dark and a lot of innocent people. What it. Don't. Don't go in there. Get away. I can't do that. You can't do this. Now I know you want revenge on Hive for what they did to your parents. This isn't the way. It's the only way I have left. You failed this city! I understand that you're trying to make things right. That is not how you get justice done. What did you know about the real Black Canary? What did you know about what she stood for? She was there that night. I saw her. You saw what kind of person she was. She was a hero. Now, maybe you were wearing that mask for a reason. But right now, I need you to ask yourself, what would the Black Canary want you to do? Kid also found out I was tracking her. I really missed her out there tonight. In a way, she was out there. In spirit, I mean, not in the last respect kind of way. And ultimately, she made the right choice. I mean, Laurel would have liked that she inspired someone. How can you say that? Evelyn Sharp just destroyed Laurel's memory out there tonight. Now the Black Canary is only going to be remembered for whatever Evelyn's done. Evelyn's not the Black Canary. Oh, well, to every reporter in person with a camera in the room tonight, she was. Her evade dark's going to make sure everybody sees that footage. As far as the rest of the world is concerned, the Black Canary is now a gun-toting would-be murderer. I'm not gonna let that happen. Oh, Lindy. I never thought we'd be here again. I mean, that. were punished in our first time now. We were. Oh, at least for a while, and then Sarah came back to us. to say a few words. So, this doesn't seem right. Uh, I knew Laurel Lance for almost her entire life. She was my friend, and I loved her. Before she died, I was, I was lucky enough to hear her tell me that she loves me, too. Laurel Lance became a lawyer to help people who may have appeared helpless. She wanted to give a voice to the silent. But just being a lawyer wasn't enough. She wanted to do more for those people and for this city. She loved this city so much. By now, everyone knows that Laurel was killed in the Iron Heights prison riot. And while it's true that she was an assistant district attorney, that's not what she was doing there that night. Before she died, Laurel told me the truth. 
Laurel Lance was the Black Canary. And for the past few days, I have had to sit and listen to people try and paint the Black Canary as a criminal. She was not a criminal. She was a hero. She was a hero in every way that a person can be. And if Laurel were here, I know that she would expect all of us to live up to the example that she set. She'd want us to save our city. Dear Laurel, I wrote this letter because I don't have the courage to see the disappointment on your face. I know you're going to go on to do amazing things, to help people and to raise this city up. Because that's who you are, that's who you've always been. And that's why I have to go away. I would only hold you back. You're the hero, Laurel. Maybe I'll come back eventually, but for now I have to spend some time alone. I hope someday you'll understand my decision. Never doubt my love for you. You've always seen the best in me, because you've always been the best of me. All my love, Oliver. Laurel died for nothing. I fell in love with you for many reasons, and one of those reasons is, is that you always find a way. And you have to find a way now. For Laurel. For the city. Move your head. 